Well, ladies and gents, if you know Mega Random, you know the word random is in the name. But we got the exact same generation we got last week. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, we've got some islands here. And if you follow the channel on a regular basis, this map certainly is something you're familiar with. Uh, what are the odds, man? What are the odds? Uh, and we've got eight players. We've got Exploding Kings. And it is a diplomacy game. I'm sure there'll be many friendships in this game that will eventually tear apart, wither away, and it'll be very sad and entertaining, I hope. So let's start off with the player introductions here. In the uh, green, playing as the Japanese, we have Lamageddon. In the orange, we have Chisel, playing as the Aztecs. In the teal, we've got some Dutch name I never know how to pronounce, I'm sorry, playing as the Vietnamese. In the yellow, we've got Mula Mos, playing as the Koreans. Uh... In the gray, we've got Kelka playing as the Hindustanis. In the red, yes. we've got This Is So Sad playing as the Portuguese. In the purple, we have Playride, who is the player who said, I'm very nervous and I'm shaking T90. Please don't look at me. Um, doing a great job here on this GOAT, by the way, playing as the Britons. And then, uh, last but not least, one of my favorite names ever, a player we are putting back in this game because in the previous game, their game disconnected. We have, it's not delivery, it's the John Dongenos, <laughs> which is fantastic. Uh, playing as the Dravidian, sadly, not the Sicilians, because we did random sieve. And Blue says, remember, kings explode, wonder and relic victory enabled. Yeah, so I had, um, this is also my host of the game, so I had told this player to remind people of those things. And it looks like they forgot to do it and are now doing it here. So... Let's see if there's a difference in the crossings here. Because I remember last time some players weren't connected to each other. Um, it does feel like there's more crossings, which might make this a little bit better. And also, while we did see a very similar map last week, the map was... I mean, the game was freaking amazing, dude. Like, the game was incredible. We had so many different things to look at. Uh, speaking of things to look at, this is so sad. Uh, it will be very sad if you lose this villager. Oh man, that was that was risky. Okay. Um, these guys are talking about pizza now, which breaks the community game rule number seventeen. Do not talk about food in front of the streamer because streamer sits here and talks all day as you guys eat your snacks. Uh, but Chisel is saying to Totino's pizzas are better. Does Totino's even have pizza? I thought they just had pizza rolls. I don't know. I love pizza, but I don't I don't have many allegiances to brands. You know what we did once and I want to do again is we we got the supplies to the supplies to make like some some pizzas at home. It was actually pretty good. Got some dough and sauce and some pepperonis and cheese, all that good stuff. Hmm. Okay. Um they're still talking about food. Just looking at the civilizations again, I feel like the Portuguese could be very strong because Portuguese are so strong on water. And also, if the game gets dicey, you can always add the Feitorias to give you some long-term resources. You do see a very adventurous king here from Teal. Uh, and again, the kings do explode if you are killed off. Everyone here has followed rule number one of community games, which is always ally everyone at the start. Uh, so I don't think there will be any immediate targets on someone's back due to that. But we will have to see how things develop here. There's probably not going to be an aggression early. So someone had asked me a question. Um, actually, no, someone made a comment, which made me lead to wanting to tell a story, which I think is kind of cool. So I'm going to do that now and instead of like, I didn't want to do it before the game so people wouldn't hear it later. So someone so kindly said, because uh, I said that I put the majority of my energy into my content and then after the day is over. I'm just kind of a zombie and I sit there and eat dinner and watch TV. Um, someone so kindly said that T90 is the type of guy who said they'd be there at 6 p.m. and then show up the next month, uh, which is a little rude, but not that far off. I am much better at it these days, but I used to have a reputation for being late. So I would be late, like 15 or 30 minutes late everywhere, all the time. Uh, so much so that... <sighs> This is actually what made me change. They, I had friends actually tell me to show up at 7.30 one time. They're like, all right, it's a 
and I showed up at 7.30 because I was on time for once. Nobody else got there till 8. And that's when they admitted to me, yeah, uh, we told you a half hour earlier because we thought you would then get there on time. So I've been trying to improve that aspect of my life. I don't know if anyone else can relate to being late. But interesting story. So I have a couple of very close friends who I'm very lucky to have, one of which was my neighbor growing up. Uh, so we grew up like a field apart, right? From the age of one, we lived across from each other. And he's he's like my second brother. Like his mom um, is, is basically my second mom. Like our families were so close, right? Like I slept more uh, at their house than I did my own house and, and him vice versa. Like it was, it was a good time. Um, and a lot of people don't have those types of neighbors growing up, right? Yes. So he's like childhood friends, still very close to him to this day. <laughs> but then I had met one of my other friends um, who in like adulthood and whatnot. And we started like going to the gym together, playing some sports together, whatever. And so friend number one had heard about friend number two, friend number two had heard about friend number one, but they'd never met. So uh, I don't know like how long it was into me knowing uh, friend number two. But he was hosting like a house party. This was years ago. This was like five years ago. And it was uh, eight. <laughs> Ironically, I think if I'm remembering this correctly. And um, so, you know, I, I, I was like, hey, I'm going to invite so-and-so. You finally get to meet him. It'll be a good time. And so the thing about my buddy Hanlon is uh, he is very personal person when he knows people. Like he's like the life of the party when he knows people. But he's very shy around new people. So... He's my childhood friend. So he shows up at eight and he texts me and he goes, he goes, hey, you in there? And I was like, no, I'm not going to be there for like 20 minutes. I was finishing up some work. Now, don't judge me, guys, because I was working on YouTube videos. OK, I'm late to my friend's engagements for you. All right. I sacrifice this for you. Um, but anyway, so he's like, well, OK, when are you going to be here? I tell him. Funnily enough, I lived like a mile away. I was still late somehow. And he goes, um, <laughs> he goes, okay, I'm just going to sit outside in my car. And I was like, dude, don't sit outside in your car for like 20 minutes. I think it was like January. It was like winter. It's cold. I was like, just go in. And he was like, nope, not going to do that. I don't know anyone in there. It's going to be really awkward. So I'm just going to sit in my car. And I was like, I, then I felt bad, right? Because I caused the whole situation. So I was like, listen, I'm going to tell you what you do. You walk in there, okay? And the first thing you say is, hi, I'm Tristan's friend. He's late as usual. You say that, and they're all going to be like, oh, we love this guy because he's making fun of Tristan, and you're going to hit it off. I promise. He's like, no, I don't want to do that. Do it. Do it. I guarantee it, right? I was just like trying to get him to go inside. He's like, okay, fine. Didn't get any texts from him whatsoever, right? Didn't hear from him. I show up like 25, 30 minutes later. I walk in. He's like finishing shotgunning a beer with my other friend. They'd never met before. And then they see me and they'd like, they're like, like kind of like half hug each other, look at us, point at me. And they're like, okay, so I know people watch with children, so I'm going to be respectful. They literally simultaneously go, there you are, you late piece of right and then they laugh and they come over and say what's up right immediately became best friends as well right all just making fun of me being late so i think they would have become close anyways but <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty proud of that i was like oh that was pretty cool so uh they bonded over me being a kind of a crappy friend and showing up late to places so but yeah i don't know if that's an interesting story or not but uh, when chat was talking about me being late, I kind of thought of that. So, All right, so back to the game here. Um, Blue has been super talkative. And Blue's talking to Green about being friends. Forgot my mail for a market, so that's nice. Was thinking we could make edge of map trade. They improved trade cog pathing. This patch, Green says, great idea. And then Blue goes over to Purple, too. Says, hey, Perp, I asked Teal about trade. Uh, we could lock down the whole edge of map. You in? And so far, we have not seen any responses except for nice from Playride. And now Blue says, team chat for Perp and Green if you're both interested. So Blue's trying to get these people to talk only to the team 
Playride has chatted to everybody. Uh, which could potentially be an issue. Ooh. SW equals Southwest. Yeah, I see that. I think COG trade would be really good on this map because there's just not a safe trade route on land. I mean, if you do try and use trade carts, you're going to be going over water anyways, right? Uh, this is so sad. This is purple talking only to you. Want to have a team like a good one till the end. Well, thank you for clarifying it's a good team. Guys, Purple said, and I quote, I am shaking right now. Purple's so nervous, and now suddenly Purple's like, like the hot chick at the bar, right? Everyone wants to talk to Purple. I don't think Purple's really expecting this level of conversation because Purple hasn't even done team chat with anybody yet. Would be really funny for everyone to want to be friends with the player who doesn't use team chat. Hmm. Speaking of kids, mine perked up when you bleeped, lol. <laughs> they suddenly got interested in the content when it became naughty. <laughs> uh, could you give a shout out to Ben and Dom since you've caught their attention? Yo, what's up, uh, Ben and Dom? You, your dad's a low elo legend. I just want you to know that. Bet you didn't expect that one. <gasps> Sorry, again, I, I've had a little bit too much coffee, and I'm having a little bit too much fun today, so. All right. Um, Blue says, poor red, impossible wall off. Well, it's not impossible, but it is awkward. And red says, this is cyberbullying. <laughs> I seem to recall red in a game. I don't know if red won. But I do recall Red having a really rough start in a game. And then, oh, oh, wait. Someone was bullying Red, actually. And Red had to completely relocate in a game. And then Red almost, like, I, I don't know if it was actually Red Color in that game. But this is so sad. Almost won the game. And Blue says, I think we should be nice to you. And uh, here's the economy on the left. It gives you an idea of the levels here. Chisel is the weakest player. Chisel's just now on the way to Castle Age. But if you use good diplomacy, if you talk to people, you can always play a part. And someone earlier asked me to maybe skip doing Exploding Kings for once. And I, I think we will do some standard Regicide games from time and time again. But I'm just going to explain why I like Exploding Kings. And that is because the weaker players matter so much more. Even if Chisel doesn't chat, goes AFK for 16 hours, doesn't matter. There's still a bomb here, right? There's still something that Chisel does, even in his death, if that were to happen. And I, I kind of like that aspect. I think it, I don't want to say it balances community games, but it does make it a bit more interesting. Hmm. Uh, do Civ team bonuses apply if you ally after the game has started? No, they won't apply because everyone... Um, starts as enemy. Uh, it's a bit confusing because in the 10 times Civ bonus mod, it will apply if you ally. But, oh, actually, no, we always start them as ally. So I think it's based on if you start as enemy or ally. <laughs> Gray goes to red. Says, we got to team up. We suck. <laughs> Wow, what a vote of confidence there from the teammate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's really funny. I feel like a beautiful friendship could form from that comment. <laughs> like, bro, we need each other, okay? Don't even try and act like you're good, okay? We are garbage. Uh, no response from Red. Um... Yellow said, oops, misclicked. Not sure what that was about. Blue says, yeah. just, just to perp and green, can I put docks on one of your islands for trade? And green says, yes. Again, purple hasn't been very chatty. I think a lot of this is because purple's trying to do different things, like get the relics, for example. It'll actually be four relics. Dang. Oh, and actually, that is a big difference on this map generation from the one we had last week. There's a lot more relics. I'm noticing relics everywhere. Teal, take my relic as a token of peace. Ooh. A token of peace. Well, I really appreciate that. That's pretty cool to see. Could see some strong navy here. There's Dravidians. There's Koreans. 
There's Portuguese and there's Japanese. Got some sick potential for Navy out there. It's so easy to mess up chatting to the wrong person. Sometimes it's stressful. Yeah, I remember an instance where, and I'm not going to say names. I do remember this. It's been a bit. There was someone who is, let's just say, a little judgy of someone's inactivity with the chat. Um, and, oh, the Diplos will be so much better. Like, why do people never Diplo? It's just so frustrating, right? Comment along those lines. And, you know, you get it, right? Because we see while spectating the Diplo is important. Like, two or three weeks later, they get into their first community game. And they got killed off because they, they didn't see messages were coming towards them. And they messaged to the wrong person. And, again... Not going to say names. This might even be multiple people, but, uh, you know, it, it was a good, a, I think, a good reminder of how complicated it can be. Um, Can I get a translator in here? I'm going to assume that Yellow and Teal are going to be buddies because they both can speak Dutch. And I don't think I could ever learn Dutch. Just going to say that right now. I mean, there's some difficult languages out there. That one, just at first glance... That's a nope for me right there. We have a lot of Dutch people in this community. Sorry about that. Um, But yeah, I don't know what was said, but Teal said agreed. Strong ones need to die first. So that is maybe like work together until we kill the strong players. By the way, Gray... Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. Red said we can have a good... I think he tried to say alliance, but said aliens till the end. I'd be down for some aliens. Purple said, say that again. Focused on not bleep bleep. What did you say? There's a lot of chat. No one wants to be the first one to die, but when there is death, there will be an explosion. And because they aren't able to expand that much on land, if an explosion happens in their base, they are going to lose everything. Because there's a bit of a reminder when, when the explosion, there's a bit of an animation. If someone were to, say, run into Blue's base right now and delete it, Blue could probably escape. But wouldn't escape with a whole lot of economy. Hmm. Well, total economy right now shows that Green's doing a pretty good job. Behind that's Blue. That is the alliance to look out for. It's not delivery. It's Dun Dunjanos. And Green is going to steal some resources here. Getting a little greedy. And Red says, hello, Green. Can I help you? Which I think is saying, why are you taking my resources right now? Just chilling, you know? Okay. By the way, I don't know if anyone else still has these experiences or has had them in the past. I have distinct memories. When I first started to play online team games, I would play Black Forest. I have distinct memories of people getting really upset when you would, like, take a gold in their base. I was kind of that guy sometimes. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. So, you know, like, the levels weren't exactly close, and I'm maybe a bit more experienced, and I'm, like, might as well take that guy's gold. It's better I have the gold than they do it. And some people would get really upset. <laughs> so many pings. <laughs> ping, 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 ping. Get off my gold. Ping, ping, mine, you know? Anytime I see someone... Uh, take someone's gold like this i i brings me back to those days sure thing no i think things just aren't very chatty okay cool sure docks cool building up for late game cool 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 purple could you build a few extra docks though makes trade easier okay so they are trade cogging away here and they did say in the patch notes something about trade cog pathing i want to see what the bumpage looks like this is very smooth. Fishing ship. I mean, well, the real test is when there's more of them. But at first glance, it seems to be pretty smooth. I'm not sure if it's significantly smoother than what it was before. There's 90 gold to trip, by the way, for blue. Not bad. And they're trading before the action begins. So they'll get to bank up a lot of resources. Teal says, okay, chisel. Green and blue, very scary. And Yellow says, look at that. Everyone's horsing around. Do we have horses? Or is that just the, the phrase here? I don't see any actual horses. Red says, yes. green, go away. 
remove your lumberjacks and is well actually hold on gray yeah okay gray is saying this to green so it's like defending reds gold and gray who clearly believes the words that were spoken earlier we, we suck so we got to team up together isn't very happy oh wait no oh wait there was green villagers here and Lama Geddon says, just needed wood. Sorry. Uh, dude, you're... Now you're in somebody else's base. People are not going to like this, Green. I know it might not seem like that big a deal, and I understand why you're doing it, but you do have to be careful. People can get stingy over their resources. Purple, who hadn't responded to some of the messages from these players earlier on in the game, says, Okay, blue and green, you are my team. And blue says, green, are you still good for that? Green says, for sure, till the end. And now yellow says, gray, do you want to team up with me and teal instead of building a palisade between us? <laughs> True. <laughs> True. And gray says, yes, but wanting to keep green out. Okay, I am in love with the fact that gray is annoyed by green. It, there's just something about it which brings me happiness. Also, this will not completely wall this, as annoying as that is. There's still a tile there. Hmm. I got tilted in a recent 4v4 Black Forest ranked because I was Sicilian Pocket. My Aztec flank put some 20 villagers on my stone. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, I, I figured that was still probably a thing. Green is being a slime ball. I don't think green's being a slime ball, but green isn't being very respectful. And it, it, I think, like, I've seen this before. Players like Lamageddon, they're going to have one too many enemies later. Hey, Orange, all good. You? Okay, so this was Chisel talking. Just chilling. I like Chisel. Chisel's just chilling. Oh, my God. Chisel has a lot of petards. That's not very chill. That is 10 petards. Okay, blue score is pretty high. I mean, so many docks, so much trade. Look at the stockpile of gold as well. Green and blue, especially. Right behind them, teal and purple. There are caravels. Caravels really good against ranged ships, not very good against fire ships. Also, caravels have a very satisfying destruction animation. Which reminds me, I still need to make the most satisfying destruction animations or death animations in age of empires 2 video oh god i put it oh there's so many oh and so many of them are ships too okay we'll see if i have time for that this week got to get those recordings done for hardy do you guys have any for that list by the way maybe i could look to the youtube comments for this too i think caravel turtle ship I'm not talking buildings, because I think, like, Wonders and Castles are very satisfying. Um, Ratha is cool, because the guy just, like, jumps back for some reason. Um, I, I think Conic has to be up there. It's just unique how the guy falls up and then just gets back from the dead. Hmm. Can you make most satisfying attack animations as well? Yeah, but I'd have to really study. I, I, I actually would have to think a bit more about that and get some feedback from people. The three to die is cool. Well, maybe we'll see some from blue. Those things are big. So I could see that being good. Look at how boomy these guys are. These guys have gone for the strategy of go for as much eco as possible and wait for the first attack. Blue has signaled this and has said care. So, okay. So this is how I think things are developing. We have green, blue, and purple. They have an alliance. Okay. That is the strongest alliance. We have teal and yellow who have kind of reached out to gray, so I think it's possible they would then work with red as well. Green says publicly, nice army, red. And red says, which is so good, all for your protection. <laughs> because the villagers are here. I think that's a statement like, yeah, it's because you're on my freaking land. You, you, okay, never mind. Someone's kids are watching, but, um, yellow says, may I kindly request you remove your villagers from my territory. And green says, can I move to edge of island? That still is territory, bro. And green says, they were on gray island, but he kicked me out. 
And yellow says, you can go to the middle or something. So yellow was very respectful about that. Green's already in the middle. I need wood myself, and I think you have taken enough from everyone else. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, green. You better prep yourself, buddy. People don't like you. And the thing is, it's not that big a deal. But he's kind of irking some people, right? <laughs> Blue says, green, you're making red so nervous. This is like when you've got a friend in the group who... Uh, he, he's not the best in social settings, and sometimes he says things to people which come off the wrong way, and you're just like, uh, duh, I hope that person doesn't get mad at me. Not that I have any friends like that. I definitely don't. But, um, you know those types of people, right? And you're just like, do I say something to try and smooth it over? I came into this place with this guy. I'm kind of like on his side here. Green says, red, only one with army. Blue, talking to the other side, says, Yellow, I have an important question for you. Are you looking forward to using turtle ships? That's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> Everyone has a friend like that. If you don't, then you are that friend. Oof. Yellow says, No, with the amount of woods on this map, no. How much wood does yellow have? Okay, 10k wood. Ah, uh, blue is very much on his guy's side. Says, yeah, it's wild that he's so threatened by lumberjacks. Yeah, but, but again, it falls into the same category of what we've said many times about Diplo games, where everyone's friends, and you just... You don't want to give someone reasons to not like you, right? And, and so I think green, like, trying to be stingy and taking other people's resources is enough to put a target on his back. The problem is, he's one of the head honchos here. Like, it's it's working. 20k wood, it's worth it to, to take these risks. And then 12k gold. Like, basically, what blue and green have done, they are simply just trading and, and getting res. And then eventually, if their villagers die, then so be it. Then they have pop space for army. I really think the way Blue and Green have played this, at least with their eco, is smart. Diplomatically, though, I think they might be making a mistake by waiting to make a move. I think when you have the lead, you should just take advantage, uh, take initiative. Now, remember, it's Exploding Kings, so if you make somebody mad and they're about to be defeated, they are going to try and get that king to your base, which could be really satisfying. Which, again, is why I like Exploding Kings these days. If this game wasn't Exploding Kings, I, I would feel like green and blue would definitely win. Uh, okay, we have some chatter here. Orange says, might try to go snipe someone. Green or blue, maybe. I love Chisel. Chisel's bottom score player. And Chisel is still thinking, I'm going to go shake it up a little bit. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Guys! Teal just said this to everybody. Teal just said, yeah, let's take green. Red, you in? And they were the other team was just wondering who they were going to kill. And then green's like, well, I guess we go after Teal. <laughs> uh, also, gray is turned on green because green is coming to try and steal wood or something. But Teal just made a big mistake by saying that out loud. There's going to be no surprises now. And you can tell the Navy's getting masked here from green. Mm. And Navy's going to be on the way. You're going to hear a whole lot of dinging. So enjoy the dings. Don't trust Teal. I think Teal realized what happened and is trying to save face. What did Green do? This is Red. Green making the sacrifice. And Blue's clarifying that they're going to go after Teal. Orange, Teal is making a move against me. Wants a team with me against him, says Green. Now, this is funny because Orange, Orange is prepping to go kill Green. <laughs> Just said it. Green or blue. And it's right next to the Navy. God, Chisel, you are so gutsy. <laughs> the game is lagging right now, by the way. Uh, we almost need an explosion. We need. There's too much population on the Earth. 
I'm hitting teal on water. You guys in? What's funny is green will never expect orange to have the balls to actually go for this. <laughs> God, I would love it so much if Chisel could kill Lava Ganon right now. <laughs> He was telling me to go red. It's very common for really con like really strong players to just assume, as Gray is clearing up the wood line, um, to just assume that the weaker players won't have the confidence. I think I would like to see Orange go for it. I doubt it will work because there's towers and castles in a lot of mind games. But I, whether it works or not, I think Orange would be a legend for trying. And green's going to have his work cut out for him. We have green turning now. And we have not seen blue support. We also have purple with navy. We've got cannon guys. We've got so much navy here. Little old orange, still Mr. Bottom Scorer, is waiting. Gray, by the way, has Hindustani crossbows. Uh, they don't get Arbalest, so I don't think this is the best unit you could have. But Gray did say, and I quote, I'm not making fun. Yo, red, we suck. We got to stick together. Yellow says, I'll make some turtles. Turtles can be really strong. They are elite. Elite were actually buffed recently. And I'm sure for Orange, Orange is like looking at this and Orange is like, this feels too good to be true. Like, can I actually try this? Is this actually a good moment to try it? And it's a fantastic moment to try it because Teal is going to die. We've got three navies coming over here towards Teal. Blue's also uh, going to contribute. And there are those crazy three Sedai's we talked about. I don't know if we'll see any go down. The top team is making their move. And the weakest player in the game is also making a move. Transports are glitchy, though. Oh, goodness. Oh, I'm so stressed. I am so stressed. I am so stressed. Oh, chisel. Chisel, 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 chisel. Not the place you want to sit. Green is still distracted. Gray's got a force here. Gray's trying to make a move towards somebody. Uh, I mean, Gray's a good distraction. Gray, back up. We can be friends. I just have to help Green. And they're, yeah, they're focusing. Like, Green sees this. Dude, Chisel. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking at right now, buddy, but you are very patient. <laughs> Is he trying to blend in with the enemy's docks? Is he playing the long game? Look at these turtles, by the way. I, I think these turtles are going to wreck everything. I, I really do think they will. They received range recently. Also, is Teal still... <gasps> Teal is still allied to green! Teal didn't turn! Teal didn't turn at all! Oh! That's so bad. And there goes orange now. So he's, he was just passing, I guess. He's going to go for somebody else. Really, really surprising me. And oh, man, what a mistake here from Teal. It's happened before, though. It's still allied to them. So it's just so distracted. Is probably looking like, man, how am I losing these fights? Okay, here go the transports. Gonna sneak over to purple. Okay, I don't know why you'd go for purple necessarily over green, honestly. Like, oh, there's also a random petard wandering around on green silence. Jizzle's trying to be too creative, but leaving us in suspense here. And here are the turtles. Teal finally realized, by the way, and is probably hoping we didn't realize that mistake was made. So they added extra range i think to the turtles it used to be six range i wonder how teresa and i do against them i wonder how caravels do talk about unique ships let's go red allies you yellow teal enemies blue and green okay so he's trying to make it clear because red hasn't done much purple's got a lot of longbows here purple's not really active on the front right now which kind of hurts the chances for this. Okay. Are we going to sit on the shoreline and never move again? Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Shh, careful. Now, remember, they're allied. There is one 
castle that has a flag here. The transport can't unload because of the tree there or something. Oh, goodness. Oh, and purple noticed it. You better run garrison. You can still do it. Ah. Okay, Trebs. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, you know what? It didn't exactly work out for Chisel, but we, we respect you, Chisel. It's tough. You have to go to the menu and change the settings. Purple wasn't fighting. And that's the issue is you got to find someone when they're fighting. So I stick to my words. You got to try. And Chisel just says, ugh, is probably so frustrated. I'm sure the frustration will not be any better when you rewatch the situation here. But feast your eyes on this massive naval battle. What in the world? Turtles are still tanky, man. Like, the turtles are actually destroying. We have Caravels, we have Galleons, and we have Theresidae. And the turtles did a really good job, all things considered. 1v3 and outnumbered. Red says, sorry, yellow, but I like green. What? Oh, gray and yellow hated green. Okay, so this is so sad. Maybe playing long term here. Green is now turned on Chisel, which is really bad. Oh, man, that's really bad for Chisel. A, a good awareness, by the way, from... Why is blue has villagers here? Wait, what? Wait, why is purple attacking blue? Purple's very scared. It says, don't go in my base. And purple's like on edge almost. I, I think blue is looking for wood, honestly. That could have been it. Hussars from yellow. Uh, wood was brought up earlier as a concern, and I think it is. Trade's still flowing back here, though, guys, for this team. So I think all the players, like purple, blue, and green, are definitely my favorites to win this. I think for Chisel, it's going to be hard to, to have any surprises now. And no navy to be spoken of. So I don't think sniping attempts are really that possible for Orange. I I think they're... Like, I know that some people are going to be a little disappointed with red right now. Because people don't like... They might not be a fan of green. But I think green's played it smart. If you think about what would have happened to red... We don't know this, of course, but I think if red would have fought with yellow, with gray, with teal, might have chosen the losing side. And might eventually turn later on. We'll see, though. I, I actually believed red's words, though. I think I think red really liked green. Even though green stole wood, which is... I don't know. Maybe it's a team thing. Okay, Chisel's King is leaving right now on a transport ship. Now, again, these things explode. We have not had anyone die yet this game. We have made it past the hour mark. If you made it to this point in the YouTube video, you're still watching despite there being no deaths. Leave a comment about that. Uh, let me know who you're rooting for here. But I, I'm i rooting for Chisel to do something. It would, however, make me quite sad to see him detonate this bomb on some of these other players. Ray, I love you. You are my true ally. But I can't. I can go against Green? I think that meant to say, I can't go against green. Wouldn't that mean the green is your true ally then? I don't know. I haven't looked up the definition of a true ally in a while. Because I do that a lot. Okay, says I won't go against you either. Okay, so gray and red are not going to go against each other. But red is basically saying, I can't go against green. So whatever happens, it's me, you, and it's green. Which is... An interesting team to form, but uh, I'm here for it. Good fighting from Yellow, by the way. Going with Korean Hussars. The turtle ships were great, but you just needed help. Wonder if it's possible if Orange is looping the entire way around the map to go to somebody else's base. Wait, <laughs> wait. Tizzle feels bad about going for purple? And says, you got any requests for me to blow up? <laughs> Yo, sorry, bro. I feel really bad about it, even though it's war and everything. Do you have anyone you want me to kill so I can make it up to you? I mean... Pfft. This is a suck for yellow. You asking me? Question marks is purple? I'm really glad purple responded. Yes. Chisel says yes. Okay, who does purple say? Haha, -ha, nice. By the way, purple's just like, you know purple's just looking around like, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Purple has not been active. <laughs> purple says, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 
<laughs> That's funny. And the players are actually laughing because Gray's starting to build a wonder. It is wonder victory, by the way. And uh, purple says red. And then says, oh, sure, go for him. But it doesn't... Orange is already on the way to red. <gasps> So orange is already moving. Little does yellow know, but yellow's life was just spared. Oh, wait. Chisel has different plans. Chisel says there will be no wonders here. Oh, no. Gray, you put a target on your back with the wonder. What have you done? Purple's like, wow, this is a pretty good deal. I defend myself from getting killed by this guy, and he's using his king for me. This is a good thing. You show him. All right. Well, I can't help but feel like Orange just kind of felt like I have no chances in this game anymore. I have to try something. Again, I, I like Exploding Kings for this reason. And Orange is just going to go out with a bang. Thinks the chat is going for everyone. And says, Wonder Victory, eh? Would be a shame if dot, 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 dot. And guys, Gray's King is in this tower. So there will be one explosion, which will kill Gray and all these monks at the same time, which would be very satisfying. And then there will be another explosion soon after, which could maybe kill some of the stuff on water. But no wonder victory in this game. And again, there's going to be another explosion. And Chisel enjoyed it. Well played, Chisel. I had disappointed, Mint. Obviously, you didn't get purple the first time, but I, I like how you knew how to go out here. And I think the turtle ships will go down for yellow. That sucks for yellow. They're so expensive. And talk about the satisfaction there. Gray says, what happened? Gray is very confused. Because it happens all at once, right? And, like, it's very jarring. If it's never happened to you, it's surprising. It makes you jump out of your chair a little bit. And Gray says, Orange, did you do this? I think they can talk to each other after they're dead. I don't know how exactly how Diplo Heaven works all the time, but I think they can. I was about to nuke yellow, but you dropped the wonder, so you won. <laughs> oh, what a what a fun thing to win. Guys, I still think like blue and green have such favorites here. Look at the gold count. A and then purple as well. Let's not forget about purple. It's just because they traded so much. They traded so much, and like that alone is really what did it, because everyone else made a lot of stuff. It's just you have that much trade, and you had that early. It really adds up. So I think yellow is eventually going to get ground down. I think teal is eventually going to go down, but they're not going down without a fight, which is the important thing. They are still alive enough to make some progress. But it's weird, because red can't truly help teal and yellow, even if he wanted to, because he has this rule against fighting against green. And yeah, he is fighting against yellow. So it's essentially 4v2. Yellow's King Refuge is under attack. It's that town center, so it should be okay. It doesn't look like Caravels do that good against Turtle Ships, though. Like, I don't know if anything does. Like, yeah, you do some pass-through damage, but it doesn't seem that strong. Yeah, again, it's a numbers thing and a cost thing, though. And I'll be curious to see if yellow comes over here to deal with this. Because the three Sedai is like a mix of a longboat and also a turtle ship in its size and how the arrows fire. But they're definitely trying to get yellow right now, which might make yellow feel like I need to escort my king towards somebody's base and explode it. Again, we did Mega Random. Mega Random doesn't have the variety... It used to, or at least that's... I, I play. I put like 30,000 hours into this game, so I feel like that's probably part of why I feel like I see the same maps all the time. But um, anyways, it's given us a map we've seen before. We've seen a lot more water in this generation than we did the last time. I thought we would see more water the last time. I remember that. Teal is not only alive, but Teal's, Teal's doing a pretty good job. 87 army over here. And purple says, are we killing yellow? Question mark. And Teal says red. Red is speaking everyone. So this could get fun. And says, what's your plan? Yes. So Teal is trying to get somebody to change sides right now. Says, what's your plan? Green and blue are quite buddy-buddy. Red says, at the moment, killing yellow. Yes. 
to to revenge Gray. Well, it, you know it wasn't actually Yellow's fault. Yeah, and Teal says Orange killed Gray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why didn't we do Mad Random? Because it took thirty minutes to load a lobby properly, and even then, it didn't work. Actually, no. The the correct answer is it it kept downloading the maps for the players over and over and over again and bugging and so it took 30 minutes longer to start a game that we wanted so we just went to mech Ram. that is a lot of turtle boys and if yellow was fighting oh wait 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 yellow splitting groups okay here we get the fight that we wanted guys i just want to see this we have 21 three sedai we've got 22 turtles ready well, the three sedai are stacked, and they're also attacking the dock. Ah! I go turtles all day. I don't know the cost difference, but I go turtles all day. It's not even close. Dang. Big fight over here. A combination of galleons and fast fires. Teal is trying to get someone to change the, the flow of this game. But I, I don't see the incentive. I think the green, blue, and purple, and red, they have a good thing going. Red might not have a good thing going, though. I think red is, would be the odd man out, which makes Teal's point accurate. But it might make red start to think a bit more about this. It just... We might not see a change in how red is planning on playing this game until after Teal and Yellow are out of the game. I heard villagers die somewhere. I don't know exactly what happened. I continue to hear them die. It's the farmers. Does yellow need pop space or something? I don't know why yellow would do that. But, okay. Blue and green, how are you? I This is red's reaction to what teal has said. So what teal has done is working. It's starting to make red think about the others. Blue says, I'm okay. Hard to push turtle ships. Good fighting 1v1 on Teal. The initial trader. Was Teal the initial trader? I thought Chisel was the initial trader. I forget. Again, just grinding them down. I'm going to attack yellow on land, says Red. Okay. Guys, 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 guys. I was just going to say... Purple has been defensive, right? It was probably the worst person for Orange to try and kill because Purple, I think, was looking at his own base more than anyone. But Purple's been very quiet. And is here helping? But only with 11 ships. So I think there is a temptation here for Playride to do something. But why? I, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's very random. <laughs> okay, I thought uh, there were rams, so I assumed, but never mind. As a villager in every castle, a monk there, just trying to hide which castle has the king. Purple says, what works best versus turtle? Galleons, fires, or cannons? And blue says demos. Only if they path. I, I, I think, like, buffing turtle ships was an interesting decision from the devs. Because turtle, elite turtle ships are always god tier. And they added extra range to castle age turtle ships. It's just, it's tricky. I think the, the real thing about turtle ship was cost. If they were to change the cost, then, you know, then you'd see more of them in castle age. It's just, it's just always been a strong unit. I, I don't think giving them plus one range, like, may, it makes them stronger, obviously, but I don't think it was the worst thing ever. I'm just saying... It was interesting that they buffed a unit, which is already very, very strong. Yellow's got his king in there. Yellow's got his king in that transport. Pointy boys are going to be slaughtered. Ting, 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 ting. Uh, yeah, yellow sees the writing on the wall. And again, I'm going to say the same thing I'm saying about, or I said about orange, about yellow. If you know you're going to go out in this game mode, use that king. Teal's going to be next up. Teal eventually is going to have to realize you don't have the trade. You run out of resources. You need to make a move. Yes. 
Oh god, you could like barely see the transport in there. Blue says yellow on transport. I think blue caught a glimpse of that there. With a treason research, possibly. Yeah, I think it was the treason research that must have had that ping. I wish Capture H had the ping on the minimap when it happens. Never seem to see it. I'm going to stay on Blue's point of view here. But, I mean, they're taking out Yellow's base, right? So it makes sense for treason. Blue says, time for a little demonstration. Get it? Demo. Oh, he's hunting all right. That is a lot of demos. And just research treason. There, treason. Okay, so it shows it, so we can see it's in a transport. Likely did that before. Has now done it again. But what he didn't see is how many turtles are there. Also, if, if that happens, Yellow, you need to move your ship a bit. <gasps> That's a lot of demos! That's a lot of demos! You're not going to get the king, though. You could kill some turtles. I don't know if that was worth it, man. But what, five turtle ships go down? Six? Yellow keeps moving. Teal keeps holding, too. It's important Teal holds for Yellow to have a chance here. All right, and here we go. Now, Yellow does have vision with Gray's docks here because Yellow was allied to Gray. Gray obviously is dead now. The king is moving. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Purple tried to kill green and was really close. Hold on. We have to go back? Wait, who was it? Oh, Teal tried to. Teal tried to. Oh, and this is why you do the fakes. Because the king was actually in the tower. Oh, how did Teal sneak in there? What an attempt. T90 blind moment there. But, I mean, it just felt like it was so impossible to ever move out. It, it felt like he was completely surrounded. And then Purple said, be careful, the green. Oh, that would have been an epic snipe. Great attempt there from Teal. Yellow's still moving. I'm not a fan of the whole transport being on the front thing. But I guess you do have vision over this. Red also has the same vision because Red was allied with Gray. Interesting. Whereas Purple does... As, wait, Purple does... Purple deleted Vils, by the way. Massacre. Blue doesn't. Okay. So can you guys start betraying each other? 4v2 is getting old from yellow. I like that. Like, if you're going to 4v2, 4v2, but you know what I'd be saying? I'd be like, at least kill us. Like, come on, guys. Step it up. There's four of you. Green says you can hurry up and die. Okay, fair. That's a compliment to them, right? They've done a really good job with fights. I do think Teal will lose this fight pretty badly. And they see the king now from yellow. Can they get to it? Oh, <laughs> do you see this? <laughs> blue can see this. And blue is looping around the backside. Man, I love blue for trying with the demos. It's pretty cool. He's never going to get him, though. Like, if the transport was over here, you would get it. But the transport is staying right in the middle of those turtles. Have you ever seen this before? Transport ship with the king in the middle of the turtles? Oh! No! 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 Oh! <laughs> oh! Sad. Oh, well, that was a little ambitious, I suppose. There will be no explosion either because the king sunk. Yellow's upset. And well played from red there. Just YOLO there. That king was very powerful. Sad times. I know people wanted that explosion to happen. But uh, they said hurry up and die. Yellow did hurry up and die. I like Yellow's attempts. It, it's, you know, it's the same thing I've said about Orange. You gotta try. Who's gonna have the guts on these with these top players to turn? This is what's gonna happen, okay? Red's gonna be killed. It, once Teal is dead, Red will be killed. Red is the odd man out. And then... Purple will be killed. And then green and blue are going to do some weird, like, buddy-buddy end of the game 1v1 or ceremony. So I think red and purple need to be the ones to shake it up. I don't know if they have the guts to do it. I think they're happy with their situation right now and feel like they could be... They could be friends with these top players 
for a bit longer. Who are you guys fighting now? Green is asking for extra wood. Green genuinely doesn't have wood. And red says, let me get banking first. Red is going to actually send wood along to green. I don't know what green said that we didn't see to make red be so obsessed with him. But maybe he's just a big fan of llamas. Teal says, oh, blue says, Teal, could you do with some help? Teal says, yeah, would be nice. And blue says, can you ping green's king? Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. And treason was just researched by Teal and immediately signals the king. And blue says, thank you. This is what I wanted to see. There are people who will sometimes not root for players because they're one of the top players and they've got all the resources and they're very, very strong and they don't want to try and change the way the game is flowing. Blue just says, we'll start working on it, which will make Teal be like, oh, okay. Maybe I can hold on a little bit longer. And Teal says, don't wait too long. But yeah, Teal should absolutely not resign here and Teal should not try and use the king as a bomb then. Because if you do that, and you die, then suddenly green is paying attention. Dang. Um, otherwise, purple, may I build docks on your base for better trade? And purple says no, question mark? Interesting. There's a lack of trust there. Purple has had I trust no one written all about him ever since the start, right? Like, remember when Orange tried to make a move for Purple and Purple had 60 units here and Purple wasn't moving forward with the attack? Purple's had, like, less than 20 ships moving forward in these attacks this entire game. Purple does not want to die here. Oh my god. Okay, Blue, I understand what you're trying to do here. But if you put your king into one of those transports... <laughs> You are not going to be pleased with the outcome. <laughs> okay, there goes the king. I assume he realized the king was there. All right, so the king is safe. Purple has 46k gold. Purple does have 46k gold. Like, what? Purple's played so safe. There's been so many safe players in this game. The nice thing about purple is purple has 46k gold and is in fourth place. And teal is eventually going to die. What is stopping... I guess green is too much on water. That's what's stopping green from getting some land presence. Red also isn't helping with that right now, but red will. Teal says, tried to snipe a failed. I'm not even sure who we're talking about. That might have been earlier. Got how much army here for purple? Like 100 units, basically. More than that if you count the navy. Blue is just chill in there guys you've got it you've got to make some i mean do you do you really have to if you're blue though should you you're in such a good position you have so much wood i feel pretty bad for teal I feel bad for chisel as well but honestly okay i take it back a little bit because if chisel would have just dropped his king off or dropped his army off here against green i think green would have died earlier so that's a lesson learned Ray built a wonder on his base and immediately died. That was kind of asking for it. Yeah, yellow and teal I feel a bit bad for, though they didn't do the best of jobs with working with other people. Oh my god, teal's bored now. Okay, t 9 Lee, only to you. This isn't, I'm not part of the Diplo game, dude. I'm the caster. t 9 Lee, only to you. Can you pronounce my name? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Capture age crashed. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I did not all that for it to distract from the question. One second. Capture Age can't handle the action. More like Crash Your Age, am I right? Huh? Uh, one sec, guys. Let's see if it loads up again. It is working, so I think we're okay. Um, it doesn't show some of the data from before, but it's fine. Oh god, now it's going fast. I may have missed some chat. I don't know. Kokja Dike. Coke your dick. Is that right? Blue just is working on it, by the way. Green says 105. You can resign again. He's trying to get Teal to just quit the game. 
Red still could move in and hasn't done so. And now Red is going to talk to Green. Uh, I assume my pronunciation wasn't good, which is why I said I can't pronounce it, but we have a move from it's not delivery, it's dungeon. Yes. And the king is in that tower. Now he's got to take out the freaking palisade walls, but he has an enemy first. The palisade walls might save Green. Oh God, the elephants are on the other side. Ah! No! <laughs> Where are you going? The king, the king is on the move. No! What have you done? Wait, there's still a chance because green has to turn, okay? And the, the elephants still can't really be killed. But blue so far has kind of screwed this up. Meanwhile, Teal's King is in harm's way and could die. Green brings over a transport ship. Obviously, green is not chatted or anything, and green is now in the transport ship. Blue is really going to regret this highlight. Teal green does still have to be careful on where this king goes, though. And... Green says blue turned, and the king dies. <laughs> Blue turned, get him, and then dies. I, I don't know what happened. Was that pathing? I, this game has been very confusing. <laughs> Blue gets the snipe somehow. I really thought Green was going to be able to sail away there, but the confusion and the stress of the moment made a very awkward situation. Now, obviously, no explosion will happen because that's the second king to sink. And Blue's like, thank God, right? That would have been embarrassing to rewatch. Um... Teal just asked for wood to be able to build a market. Blue so kindly sends it. We now have three people. And um, who, who's attacking what here? This is Blue just attacking. Oh, wait, no. Purple's attacking Blue. And Purple's on the sea! Purple's on the sea, taking out Blue's base. Holy cannon galleons, Batman. We've got cannon galleons everywhere. 17 cannon galleons here. 14 cannon galleons here. And Navy all up through the trade as well. So finally, the this team is starting to break apart a little bit. I love this move from Purple. And also, Red turned on Purple. What? Teal is going to have so much free time on his hands. <laughs> and Red says blue till the end. Blue says yes with a heart. Okay, so Red is basically doing this in defense of blue. I do not think blue will die to purple's attack here. Because I think that while cannon galleons are exciting and great at against taking out buildings, they are not as good as traditional navy like galleons in the standalone water fights. So, you know, blue is going to eventually mop this up. Now, purple before had a lot of gold, still has a lot of gold. But I'm not seeing the dock number, right? Like a lot of these other players have docks everywhere. I guess I could be wrong, actually. We'll see, but it is 2v1 on water it is kind of the main thing. Now, again, Teal has a lot of free time on his hands, but there's still a green navy here, which is interesting that it this continued to attack, because I know land units don't continue attack when a player's defeated. To be clear, I think when a player is defeated, their unit should still attack. That's, that was always part of the game until they changed that within the last year or two. So I'm sad for Teal, obviously, but kind of happy that that's a possibility. I think we're going to see Teal make a, a run for this and try and get to someone's base and use the elephants as a distraction. But, you know, we'll see if purple can hold on here. Military count, most important. Military, very high for the three main players that are remaining. But, again, this player who struggled so much throughout this game could still have an impact. But I don't think you have really have a chance to win. Actually, if you just stood there, there is a chance that you could get second and just still be hanging out here. Oh, he's made a tra he's made a transport ship. Let's go. That's probably better than running through the middle because there's a lot of leftover stuff there and you don't have vision. It is also very risky. And bye bye, longbows. Longbow's not very good against ships. Blue has made progress on this side, kind of as I expected. I I think 
even though purple is going to die eventually, or that's the way I think it's going to happen, it's going to be very hard to kill him. I think that what purple did there was the right choice. I think turning on blue in that exact moment was the best possible timing to get blue. And if blue was killed, this gives purple a chance to win the game. Because then it would be a 1v1 against red, who has been good with Diplo, but hasn't necessarily shown to be the strongest. Okay, so Teal... I, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the plan is here, but the king is now back on the shoreline. The king had second thoughts. <laughs> His people were like, Master, please don't do it. And he was like, but I must. It is my duty as a king to sacrifice myself. What type of king am I if I don't make this sacrifice? Blue is just casually strolling over here to steal the dude's relic while he's still alive. Like, have some respect. Oh, okay. So he's going to do what we originally thought he would do. Oh, he's going to transport here. But Blue's allied to him, right? So he could actually see Blue's th stuff. And he has to somehow avoid it. So I think he goes back around by Blue's base. Wait, he's allied with, with Teal... With, with Red as well. Oh! Oh! Red is allied to him! Meanwhile, Purple is getting pushed, but... But Purple's not going to die yet. And, you know, Purple's not dead. Purple has resources. Oh, they let this guy live for too long. And remember what Red said. He was like, I'm going to I'm gonna defend Green till the end. Sorry, Gray, but Green's my guy too. Green, 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 Green. And what did Green do? Green just killed Teal all the freaking time. Never let him breathe. And now that Green's gone, there is a new target for Teal. And that is Red. And even if Red's king escapes, this will end the game for Red. There's no way Red comes back from these losses. Blue says, Teal, you there? And you just... Nope. Just leaves the planet. Ends his life. And I don't know if Red is going to know about this. I think Red is going to jump out of his chair. And freak out. And this is going to be a 1v1 between Blue and Purple. And I respect Teal so much for that. Goodbye, Red. It was a good game from you. It was difficult for you to choose sides at times, possibly, or maybe you just chose the wrong side. You did get top three. It was a really good game. Blue laughing at it. And Purple says, okay, you and me now. And obviously, there will be another explosion for Red, which will maybe take out a little bit more. Yeah. That island was cleared. So, good luck, Blue and Purps is Teal. I respect Teal so much. I really like how Teal played this game. Teal had a lot... Of things go wrong in this game. And Blue says, I was about to ask Teal to do exactly that. See, that that's why, like, <laughs> that's funny. But that is also why I was saying that I think someone like Red and Purple, they need to see the writings on the wall with their alliance with Blue and Green. Purple did realize that that wasn't going to last forever, so Purple tried to kill, kill Blue. A good game from Red. Red says, oh boy, should have been more careful. Absolutely. This game has been tricky. There's no trees left. So let's look at the stockpiles. 48,000 gold and 30,000 gold comparatively for these two. Both have 5,000 wood. Also, the longbows are kind of eating the ships. Is this cost effective right now for the Britain player? I mean, it's not good positioning. You, you want to use your range if you're longbows. But... Does purple have docks left? A couple. Can longbows beat ships if you get, like, 150 of them? <laughs> I think they might actually be able to. It would be such a grind to come back across the map. I'd like to see blue use this, by the way. Hmm. Blue is really likable. Blue is an interesting character today. Because we, we got a taste of blue before the game disconnected for blue earlier. Really like the name. And pretty chatty player as well. I think purple saw a, a chance to be greedy earlier and figured... Let's just, let's just be as defensive and quiet as possible throughout a lot of this game. Which has worked out thus far. But it's going to be a grind and a half to finish this one off. 
Now we have cannon galleons with 15 range, so they are they have more range than the longbows. So blue's not really happy about being outranged when using just galleons, so he's using the cannon galleons. I think ships, if we're talking even numbers, ships should be the better unit though. It's just that blue has a lot of navy over here yet. And blue has blue still has trade. Blue is trading with teal. So there's still gold income as well. Interesting walls from green, by the way. Britain Towers could work. Uh, I mean, you do have 47,000 gold. That would that would be pretty decent, I guess, if your opponent didn't have Cannon Galleons. I think for Purple, Purple knows this isn't going to be possible to win, sees the writing is on the wall, and may say something soon. It is unfortunate, obviously, when it's a 1v1, you can't use the Exploding King aspect, because once your king is dead, there's no explosion. The game would be over. I think purple will lose this castle, which gives an opportunity for blue to transport this army. Assuming blue will eventually remember this army is here, and I'm not sure he will. We have blue bringing in more cannon galleons, which could help out more against these buildings and the longbows. I'm wondering if purple has any funky business planned, if there's any sneaks. Ah, okay, so he's waiting with this. So blue had passed by these docks and is allowing purple to build up cannon galleons. So I think Purple's going to just try and make one crazy run for Blue's King. So the Longbows are just a stall tactic at the moment. I don't think Cannon Galleons, unless you're Spanish, would be that good, though, against the King itself. Like, you need probably need some Galleons in the mix as well. By the way, if you have 47k gold, buy wood, like, a lot of it. Uh, I don't know what the price is. And get more docks if you can. Like, more docks here? Oh, uh, actually. Well, I guess you gotta clear... Ooh. Um, okay, I can kind of see the problem. Uh, now you see purple trying to make docks. There weren't many spots. But again, like... You feel like you're dead. You have to try. That That has kind of been a theme here. Also, Capture Age is a little bugged since I rejoined it. Will Blue notice this? There are some leftover ships here for blue, which is going to be mighty convenient, actually. Because those cannon galleons are going to roll into town, and they're going to get killed off. Yeah, and blue... I, I think blue has enough position to just be able to run away. I like how blue completely forgot about this army, and is making more elephant archers. Actually a really good unit. Nice attempt here from purple. We knew it wouldn't work out. Purple wasn't sure. And for all purple knows, I could have been screaming at my computer, like, please try something. Never want to be that person that doesn't try. Blue has found this dock. Blue will find these docks. That's another attempt from purple. Another attempt that will not work. And purple was the one who said, I am shaking. I'm so nervous right now. Made it all the way to second place. <laughs> Here comes another attempt. Choo choo. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Again, respect the attempt. Try something. Don't quit with all these resources. You've used 10k of that gold now. Again, it's a lot of longbows. I don't know if these elfin archers have full upgrades. I feel like they should have more than six pierce armor, but I actually forget. What's the max pierce armor on an elfin archer? It's got to be more than six, right? Then again, I mean, the unit's so much HP. It's pretty tanky, regardless. Rumi Swordsman just batters down that ram. Okay, Purple, what next? What have you got next? Blue did notice this, by the way. Is probably going to pack these things up, make some transport soon. What's the best unit when you have only golds? Well, uh, I th still think it's ships. Because it just has so much more HP. And Purple realizes, I can't do this. I don't want to waste anyone else's time, any, any, any more time. There's already right, HGG, well played everyone. Was so nervous and focused. And there's the king. There goes the king. King is probably going to be donated over there to Blue, who I think deserves the win. We knew that Blue was going to be on the team, um, you know, the best team based on the start. But we didn't know how the game was going to pan out. King runs into the shallows, dies. 
And that was the end. Great game. Great name from Blue. And pretty solid one there. Um, unfortunately for us, we missed out on some of the data uh, because of the drop. I think it misses out on kills, right? Let me, let me double check this. Okay, yeah, this is more like it. Um, we'll use the, the normal stat screen, even though we missed some of the other data. Uh, great KD. Very, very active game. Um, and very loyal game at times for certain teams. I think some of the players who died early, they didn't end up on the right side, and they just didn't have trade, um, which I remember seeing this generation last week. I was like, this is going to be all water. Uh, it's going to be about, like, long-term wood, which, of course, means, like, maybe take some trade and uh, buy the wood, and that's exactly what these guys did. 130k trade profit? 130k. Didn't think it would be that high for Blue. That was pretty crazy. And again, Blue is extremely active. Um, I know Purple was floating a little bit more gold. But Purple was just happy to just chill out. Purple was aggressive, was helping the team, but also was keeping a very close eye at their base. Uh, shout out to Chisel, who tried uh, to kill somebody. Eventually did kill somebody, actually. I'm sure Gray's not happy about that. Shout out to Gray, who said to Red at one point, we need to stick together. We suck. Um, <laughs> and they did kind of stick together for a while. And if the timeline matters to you, the good old-fashioned timeline anyways, it is there. Blue also had 10 relics. Sheesh, pretty crazy stuff. Blue was 1,300 1v1 ELO, by the way. So Blue definitely played like an experienced community gamer. We had 1,300 1v1 ELO for Llama as well. Whereas some of the others, we got like some 1,100, some 900s in here, some players who aren't completely ranked. But uh, thank you guys for playing. Thank you guys for watching. Hope people enjoyed. And uh, while I like that map, I hope Mega Random doesn't give it to us for a couple more months. Cool.